So we have James here today. And Dr. James Kim is the CEO and founder of Vitamin Detox Secrets. And today he will talk about how to crush brain fog and achieve mental clarity. And if you stay with us until the end, you can get some peeks into his free downloadable uh, ebook, which is the expert's guide to crush brain fog. So when you go, James. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Okay. So um, I'd like to talk to you guys about brain fog um, and about that. Let me tell you about my story on how I had used to have very severe brain fog and how I actually crushed it. So, I mean, this is really important. I mean, I think you should tune this, tune this in if you are having um, this brain fog and if it actually affects your um, work performance and if it affects your um, personal life, then prop your ears up and get your seatbelt tight because it's going to be a really uh, rough ride. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to uh, work in a corporate world um, in a healthcare setting. So I'm located in South Korea and in here we have very uh, big pharma companies and one of, and I used to work in uh, pharma companies and the work overload was so severe that I was working like overtime and sometimes like I you know took some of my uh, like profiles and like notes notebooks with me so that I can finish up uh, some of those like unfinished tasks and also try to get myself prevent from um, my boss. So, and you don't want that, right? So <laughs> I actually did my best you know, to, to, you know, to try to get that things uh, you know, by the deadline. But as you know, like, and as you work more, you, you know that um, you think that you're doing better, but it, it, it really is not because like more work are given to you. So you can actually you know, get out from that, that vicious cycle. And because of that, because you had so much, because I was having uh, this so busy life, like my work schedule was so like, like overwhelming. And at the same time, like my eating habits was so not in control, which means like I was eating um, like, various, like various types of not good foods, like junk foods, like processed foods, like you know, frozen foods, like delivered foods, and all that. So I felt like a lot of times, like you know, indigestion, and like my mood swings was like really bad. And like over the like years that I was in the corporate world, um, I could feel that like my body overall didn't feel right. So for example, because I had to like you know use my head, you know use my brain all the time. I felt like, you know, something wrong with me. So some of the symptoms that I had was like, I, I felt this uh, fuzzy feelings in my head. I don't know like if you know what I mean. Um, it's like you, it's like you have this like clouds like all over the head, like in your brain. So you don't, so you don't, so you're feeling like, you know, you're actually dreaming or you're not. And what's funny, what's funny is that you need to do something like do something, uh, you need to and say them, say things. Uh, very meticulously, but you can't because you cannot pick up the right words, and so you're just pretending, you know, pretending to tr to try to do, uh, right, you know, right things, but you, you really can't because your cognitive function is not functioning well. So I was suffering like really, really bad, but um, one day I actually found a solution, and I, you know, and about that solution, like I'd like to actually, you know, share it with you and about the solution that I have created. It was actually packed um, in, inside the, the ebook that I made. It's a very uh, short ebook, but you know, you can get that, you know, from the download of info, uh, the link that will be given to you. So let's define what brain fog means. I mean, so the brain fog, it's, it includes like various symptoms. So it can like include confusion and you, you tend to forget something. So, for example, you know, you walk up, you know, into like, uh, like, like the other, you know, one room and you're thinking, why am I here? Right. And, and why, why did I come here to, to do so, to do so, to do something? So you tend to, you know, forget things. And 
you have lack of focus so which means it actually affects a lot you know, if you have to you know if you are in this um, uh, this cubicle world and if you have to like you know use a lot of like your cognitive function then it's not really good it's, it's no good actually and you're actually suffering from this uh, mental like fogginess and mental like un unclarity and this is very like um, underestimated condition and people think that this is just like a minor condition but it really is not it's very severe in a way um, and this mm -hmm. symptom can be caused by like like a lot of things but um, the like potential uh, causes can include I me mean, of course inflammation in your body and uh, fatigue uh, I mean especially it's not a, it's not short term it's like a very long term fatigue and one of the very big factor is that uh, Fanny actually uh, talked about this previously uh, the changes in your blood uh, glucose level it actually causes a lot of that mental fatigue and mental like uh, fogginess. And I'd like to you know, you know go deep dive into uh, possible causes, right? So first thing is stress. So as I met, have mentioned that I was in a corporate, I used to be in the corporate world, and I was in this like massive stress. Oh my gosh, yeah. So you just want to like you know bang your head like against the wall and thinking that you know. I might have to die. So this chronic stress can actually increase, um, like you know, your blood pressure and like weaken your immune system, and it can actually trigger like depressions and everything. It also causes like mental fatigue, and which means like if you your brain is not functioning well, then it means like you're, you're exhausted. And if your brain is exhausted, then means uh, your blood flow to the, uh, the, your brain is not working well, so which means you're not getting the right blood uh, and you're not getting the oxygen enough. So which means you cannot think right. So you cannot focus, you cannot you know, reason well, so which means it's not really good for you. So so that, that, so, so that was the first thing. The second one is the lack of sleep. So like having a poor sleep or poor sleep quality can also interfere with how well uh, you can cope with the, those cognitive functions. And, and with your brain functions as well, as well. So, you know, people actually uh, do uh, recommend about having eight to nine hours of sleep these days, but we can't because, you know, we are, we are always like you know, trying to, we are always getting chased with a lot of tasks to do in our personal lives. So, and what's important is that the quantity of sleep is important. And at the same time, the quality of sleep is really important because like when you're having a really good quality of sleep, then your body is producing, you know, some types of hormones that actually balances your body. So, which is really, it can actually, you know, do a lot of benefits to that. And also, uh, hormonal changes uh, can factor into. So, the hormone changes can also um, cause the uh, and trigger brain fog. So like there are different types of hormones that you, you can go into. So for example, pr uh, progesterone and estrogen can actually increase during the uh, pregnancy. And what they can do is that it can actually affect uh, the memory and it can also cause like short-term cognitive uh, impairment. And it can also happen to people who have also, you know, given birth to a, ch in a, ch a child. And so that's why we need to actually take care of our body and then you know take care of the hormones, hormone levels. And I want to mention like uh, two more things. So the next one is a diet. It's a very uh, very uh, uh, important subject to go over. And the food that you know causes a sudden blood sugar spike are like one of the very very like major factors that can um, cause or trigger uh, brain fog. So like um, when you are eating uh, food that can cause a really high spike of um, blood sugar, it can also cause the very um, high uh, sudden uh, decrease in the, your blood sugar levels, which means, which is called like hypoglycemic. So this is condition where your concentra concentration of your blood uh, is less than the uh, the normal amount. So normal amount of our blood sugar level is about seven milligrams per deciliter. And when that uh, hypoglycemic event happens, then you the, the one of the most uh, the uh, the symptoms that you can see is uh, the insufficient of energy. And when that 
hypoglycemic events is keep persisting, then you, you can uh, actually experience in different symptoms such as very severe fatigue. So you don't even feel like you know you have any energy. So you feel like you're a zombie all the time, right? And you have this vision problem uh, because you know that that blood sugar it actually affects your you know your eye too. And you feel drowsiness, you feel sl sleepy, and you feel slouzy, right? And you have a very uh, diff like difficulty in concentrating in your work, so it's not really good. So your work performance it actually get affected. Um, and when those symptoms can you know, become really really worse, then you know your face can become pale, you know, and your speech speech becomes dull, of course, because you know you. you and you don't, you don't really know like you know, what kind of words to put out and because you, you cannot even really think right and your consciousness becomes very blurred blurred and so which can also you know lead to fainting so it's really uh, very one of those very uh, uh, depressing um, symptoms and also uh, some of the medical condition, conditions can uh, affect and cause or, or trigger this brain, brain fog is that um people with the anemia they can also you know, have those kind of symptoms uh, they also do feel like fatigue and like low energy and people with the depression they can also experience a brain fog and so those uh, people who uh, uh, patients with the depression um, when they're taking like those like SSRI or like SNRI they can also feel uh, this brain fog like effects so this is like some, some of the side effects that, that you can uh, that you can experience as well so what are the um, uh, the solutions uh, that you can actually um, do to to take care of this brain fog so i've done like some researches and i actually you know went to youtube to see like what other like brain fog you know say they say, you know, do the, medicate, uh, do the meditation. I haven't actually done that, you know, to, in order to uh, control your brain fog. Mm, but I'm not really sure whether it actually works or not, but maybe, but I don't know, um, I guess. And people also say, you know, you need to drink plenty of water. I think it really helps. Uh, but what I want to uh, actually share with you, you know, there are the three things that can actually like target directly on your brain fog so you can actually try this and if it, if it works then please let me know so the first thing is that uh you need to remove your toxins so what it, what what it means is that we already know that uh there have been like various extensive researches saying that um there are very uh detrimental effects of those heavy metals toxins in your uh in your human body especially your uh, brain cells and your nervous system, right? And these toxins, um, even though very fraction, like very small amounts, it can trigger like very detrimental effects to your body. And uh, like, of course, and your cognitive functions. So for example, like lead and mercury exposures, air pollution, organic compounds, they all can cause and trigger the, the potential damage brain function. But then, you know, the research is still, still undergoing. And so when you're doing like a fasting, uh, for example, if you want to try the intermittent fasting, then there are some benefits that, that you can actually have. So fasting, uh, it can actually uh, regulate your blood sugar levels. So it actually gives a steadiness, uh, your, your blood, blood sugar levels in your, in your body. So what it means is that it can actually controls and regulates uh, your hormone levels too. So for example, uh, those like serotonin, which is also called happy hormones, uh, and also GABA, GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that blocks the impulse between uh, the nerve cells in the brain. Uh, it actually, uh, so those fasting uh, can uh, impair and it can actually uh, the, you know, block those surges of those two uh, neurotransmitters and hormones. So Therefore, it can actually help you not to get into this sleepiness mode or you know brain fog symptoms. And also, like when you are doing the uh, when you are going through this uh, this fasting mode, uh, did I say fasting? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So you need so so the first thing was that you need to remove toxins, and second, you need to go through fasting. So fasting is really important. Um, as I have said earlier, 
that when you're going through the or you're going through the intermittent, intermittent fasting, uh, there's this uh, mechanism that turns in uh, in our body called autophagy. So what does autophagy means is that um, your white blood cells are um, the blood cells that uh, that actually protect your body from the uh, pathogens and other um, like outer um, out of bacteria and virus that are trying to like attack our bodies and when your body is going through this uh, fasting mode then those white blood cells are trying to go through our body like everywhere right so they are in the seeking mode so they are they become the seeker trying to uh consume every possible um, available resources out there so that you know they can eat up any um uh, like unlapted and like like untreated um, bacteria or like cells that are not functioning well. So so this fasting can actually like uh, take care of those like uh, um, those like, unclean things. So it actually like you know cleans the waste from your body. And so these benefits are actually you know really good uh, when you're actually doing this uh, fasting. And lastly, um, having uh, taking a right nutrition is really important. So, like uh, uh, Hippocrates once said that we are what we eat. So it is very important to realize that we are a byproduct of what we have been eating and what we are eating and what we will eat. So the brain fog uh, is, after all, it's resulted from like inflammatory reactions, so which slows down the uh, your brain functions and you know your neuron processing time. So what I had um, uh, for for the brain fog was I actually took like a lot of lots of vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients. So some of the things that you know that I can actually list is that I took vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, vitamin B6. Niacin, uh, vitamin B12, folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, pentathenic acid, vitamin K, biotin, uh, beta carotene, calcium, in addition to like eight other like minerals. Also, fish oil, coenzyme Q10, uh, silymarine, allicin, lastin, provided prebiotics, fibers, proteins, and lots of phytonutrients. So, the reason is that, like, you know, those vitamins, uh, minerals, and proteins, fish oils, and, and these phytonutrients, what they are, what they are doing is that after all, they are actually fighting against the uh, like bad things in your body, and also they have this like anti-inflammatory and antioxidant uh, uh, reactions to your body. So, and after all, what it does is that it uh, you know, removes the the plugness in your brain. So, and besides this, I have actually mentioned the the fiber. So I can actually like you know wrap up this uh, session with a uh, very uh, good benefits of fibers. It's really important that you need to take your uh, fibers with you, especially I mean there are two types of fibers: uh, insoluble type and, and soluble uh, fibers. And soluble fibers is the one that, that you need to take uh, for your uh, brain fog. So what what does slow, uh, soluble fiber means? Uh, they can actually slow down your absorption of sugar uh, and it can actually help improve your blood sugar levels. So you remember that, you know, when you can actually uh, regulate your blood sugar levels, it can actually uh, regulate your brain fog too. So there are three functions that this uh, soluble fiber fibers can do. So it, it actually attracts the water and turns the food into shell, so it makes it soluble. And it also slows down your digestion, which also, you know, like regulates your blood sugar level. And also it, you know, lowers your blood, blood cholesterol and many more. So there has been like a lot of, a lot of researches that has been showing that you know, for people with a, a type 2 diabetes, uh, and when they have eaten like a more fibers, and it has shown that they can actually have, have been improved their blood control, blood glucose control. And soluble fiber makes it harder for your body to convert carbohydrates into glucose, so they can be, you know, absorbed into the bloodstream. So, so, so some of the examples of soluble fibers that you can take are dried beans, oats, oat grain, rice, rice bran, barley, stress fruit, fruits, and apples. 
and I'd love to uh, recommend you to take apples uh, every morning. So I guess this is it. Um, if you have any questions, I don't know if you if anybody's watching this, but that was so, great. Yeah. Well, I have a quick question for you then, because obviously you spoke about fasting. So if one would start to fast, do you have any tips on how to start, how to ease themselves into it, or straight jump in it and just do it? Mm, what would you think? Okay. Yeah, that's a very good question. That's a very, very good question. So I think it's, it's like this. Um, like our body needs some time for like adaptation. So for example, like, you know, if you, if you are going to work out, right, or if you are going for a swimming pool, you do not want to just you know, jump in, hey, I, like here I am, you know, and start like, you know, pumping irons. You don't want to do that, right? Or maybe you are, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> so, because I like to take care of my body. I'm just kidding. But what I'm saying is that, so I think for me, like our body needs some adaptation time. So, when we are, when you want to do this fasting, maybe I'd, I'd, I mean, I'd like to give myself a time of maybe, I don't know, about a week of period, you know, trying to eat something that are like easy on your body, such as like maybe, uh, I don't know, like, and uh, maybe not processed foods, and of course, like not delivered foods, like diet, I mean, or Coke or, Sprites, you know, you don't want that, you know, KFC, you don't want that, right? Pizzas, I know you want it, but, you know, maybe, you know, let's try to prevent that, right? For the previous seven days. And then start go go easy on you so that your body is, our, you know, we will see that, okay, my master is, you know, on the work, you know, trying to get our body in the, the very proper uh, system and very proper mode. So maybe give us give yourself maybe seven days before you go to fasting, and then you need to actually also decide how many days you, know, you want to go for fasting, right? So some people can go fasting um, with or without water for I don't know for like a lot of days. I know that uh, like Jesus Christ, he he has went for fasting for forty days, I think, and then then the uh, he also went for fasting for, I'm not sure, 50 or 60 days or 20 days, I'm not sure. Yeah, but there are people who have been, you know, going through uh, this type of fastings. And I know that there are, you know, different types of fasting. And I actually do recommend that, you know, uh, yeah, you need to actually know what type of fasting that you need to go through. And you need to actually do know, you know, how to do the fasting. Because if you're not doing the fasting properly, it can actually like worsen or like aggravates the symptoms of brain fog. So you will think that like, what the heck? I mean, I, I mean, James told me that, you know, the brain, uh, brain fog will go away once you start the, uh, you know, fasting. But if you do not know the me mechanism and if you do not know the, the right procedure, it can actually worsen um, the your symptoms. So it is really uh, important that you need to ask the, the right type of person and a health coach to do uh, to do the uh, fast uh, to do the um, fasting and also one of the um, uh, the benefits that you can have from the fasting is that it actually helps with the you know losing fat yeah, I don't know if you knew I'm pretty sure like you knew so um, the most benefit benefit comes uh, like when you when you are when your body is going through fasting mode since the day two. And from the day two, your hormone is, you know, now working really properly in a way um, that also, um, I know that the ketones, um, they are actually, you know, working, I think that they start working from the day two. And mm -hmm. that's when you are trying to see the, you know, the benefits from your body. So. That's great. Thank you. So the main takeaway is, I guess, if you had a newbie for for fasting, maybe start with intermittent rather than going a 40 day fast and seek a nutritionist or another therapist who can help, like James. He is the man of fasting. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. well, thank you very much. It was absolutely wonderful. And thank do you, you want to uh, introduce your ebook? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, reminding me that. Uh, 
Um, how do I? Yep. Okay. Now, can you guys see this? Do you see this? Yes, I added it to the stream. Okay. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yep, so this is it. This is, uh, you know, my book, my mini book uh, called The Expert's Guide to Remo Removal of Brain Fog. So pretty much I have actually um, included all of my all of the tips and how I have went through went through uh, my journey of removing the brain fog. So for me, I actually um, have. Um, yeah, so for me. I actually have um, eliminated the, the symptoms of brain fog within two days. So, and since then, I, I rarely, um, you know, experience brain fog. So, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, there are people out there that who need help. And if you can get that the mental clarity, and if you can get that this, I don't know, like this zen-like state, like. Oh uh, right, then you feel like you know you, you, you feel like you, know, you can like perform like much better. You know you feel like you know you can actually become a like high performance guy, so that you know you can work better. You know your business can you know like uh, affect much better in a way. So I think you guys should you know do uh, yeah do achieve that mental clarity so that you know you can you know have that happy life and really, you know, cool life that you want, that, that you deserve. So that's about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. Thank you very much. I will post the link for the book on my page as well. So you can just download it from there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It was amazing as ever. Thank you for being here, James. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay.